and getting educated about diabetes. We're spreading awareness for the disease and looking at ways treatments have changed recently. Dr. Sharon Thompson in studio with us next. Time now is 8:18. Uh, November is Diabetes Awareness Month. It's a time uh, created to shed light on both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, about educating, advocating, and finding a cure. So this year's main focus is gestational diabetes. So Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us from Central Phoenix Obstetrics and Gynecology uh, with some advice this morning on both treatment and prevention. And I imagine with your patients, it's got to be very distressing to hear that they're dealing with gestational diabetes and how to move forward because you're already worried about That's your baby exactly right. and you want everything to be just perfect. <laughs> That's exactly right. Moms uh, worry about everything, everything in mm -hmm. pregnancy and so when they get a diagnosis or even we talk about the testing for gestational mm -hmm. diabetes they get alarmed um, and the reason for it is that moms are you know they, they have a production factory mm -hmm. going on and so their bodies very smartly change how they manage sugars so that they grow a baby. Okay. You need sugars energy for that but sometimes things go awry and the sugar in the mom's blood will stay higher than it should and okay. that's diabetes. And just to clarify, it does not mean that then a mother after delivery would be dealing with diabetes long term, right? Many moms, diabetes will go away after okay. the pregnancy, but if you're diagnosed with gestational diabetes, you continue to have a risk. About one in two women will develop type 2 diabetes sometime later oh, on. Okay. So it is something to keep in mind if you get that diagnosis in pregnancy that you have to be vigilant later on. And if you're planning a family and you are, say, a type 1 diabetic, you need to really have some very candid conversations with your doctor because yes. it, you are at higher risk all the Absolutely, way around. Okay. Yes. So if you already have a diagnosis of diabetes then you definitely want to talk to your doctor about planning your family mm -hmm. because we definitely want to make sure that the blood sugars are well controlled while you're pregnant and there are different things that you need if you're type 1 versus type 2 but both need to be very aware of their sugars okay. during their pregnancy. So what's the message now of how to deal with gestational diabetes and, and also just in general? Sure. So if you have type 2 diabetes or gestational diabetes. Right. Type 1 is a little bit different. Yep. Then diet is a mainstay of treatment and it's the initial treatment. And so what I tell my patients very simply, instead of making your diet based on carbohydrates, so you the rice first, the mm -hmm. pasta first, and then things around it, you make vegetables the base of your diet. Okay. And I have a little um, She's got a prop here. <laughs> when we have time, we'll show you. Um, but you want to make vegetables half your plate when yes. you make a meal. Okay. And then you make, um, so I'll put it up here so we can look at it. Okay. And you want to make vegetables half, half the plate, plate, proteins a quarter, and then carbohydrates a couple of days a week. Don't make it every day. Okay. Where you put the pasta or the rice or the bread. So you really limit the carbohydrates, limit the sugars that your body gets so that your body handles them better because you're already having some issues with sugar management. It sounds easy to follow. Uh, those lifestyle changes can well, be tricky, but exactly. especially if you've got the motivation of the, your baby the to be. Mm -hmm. right? You won't make it every day, and that's okay. You don't have to feel guilty or bad about yourself, but this is the goal. This is what you're trying to achieve. And if that doesn't work, then we have medicines that can help moms to keep those blood sugars under control. Very quickly as we wrap up, are we making any progress towards a cure for either or any of these forms of diabetes? So there are lots of um, treatments in the works. So we already have insulin. That's a, been a mainstay for years. But there are groups that are looking at making artificial pancreas. Mm -hmm. There are groups that are making it easier to check your blood sugar, so okay. they're devices so you don't have to do the finger sticks. So these are all being studied because it is a difficult disease to manage. And type 2 is becoming more prevalent and due to the obesity, right? Prevalent. That's absolutely true. Dr. Thompson, thank you so much. Uh, great welcome. advice this morning. Keeping us well, uh, living our healthiest lives possible. We appreciate your insight. We'll refer to the plates. <laughs> Remember it today at lunch, even though I had it reversed. Uh, we'll be right back with more Good Morning Arizona.